Yo, I'm going to be teaching you something quick. There are some things you shouldn't do when you're retouching an image because it's going to affect the after come of the image. So I have already started retouching this image just not to make this video too long. I have already started retouching it. So if you noticed, for me to start retouching, I turned off the high frequency. It's not like I cannot retouch with the high frequency on. It's not like I cannot retouch with it. But the wrong side about this is that eh, when you retouch with your high frequency on, you will not know the areas that you have brushed and the areas that you have not brushed. I repeat, if you retouch with high frequency on, you will not know the areas that you have brushed and the areas that you have not brushed. For example, I brushed here. All this other part is looking like I've brushed it. So I'm trying as much as possible to touch everywhere. Okay, now for the fact that nobody is perfect, for the fact that no matter how you retouch, sometimes there might still be flaws, you might not know the areas that you have not touched and the areas that you have touched. It's better you touch almost every part of the, the face and the skin just to make them look uniform. So for now, after all these things that I've done, let me turn off the high frequency. So when I turn off the high frequency, you notice the roughness the imbalance a lot of places are not balanced at all unlike if it's turned off and i'm brushing you see that areas that i've touched before i would want to go back to them again visit them to make them come out more better something that i would not see if my blur wasn't on so why is it that when my blur why is it that once my high frequency is turned off i can see these things very well is because once you brush a particular area, if there was a little detail there, the details will go off. It will be looking as if you smoothing the image. That's what frequency separation will do to your image. No matter how, no matter how much your radius is, it will still be looking as if you smoothing the image. So. So as you can see, I have touched all these areas now. I've touched everywhere now. So if I turn it back on, this is what you get. You get a better result because you have been able to move around. You get a better result and a better color harmony than when, when you don't... Is there a button to turn this off? I didn't know. So let me let me go back. Now I can fix these little parts. Those were due to me retouching and bringing in, touching the earring a little because my brush is a faded brush. It's not an hard brush. So you can easily get things like that. Sorry. So, so that's what I'm trying to show you in this particular video. I hope this would make you understand that whenever you're retouching your image, these are the reasons why you need to turn on your blur and turn off your high frequency. Then when you're done, you can turn it back on. Then you can then now remove blemishes on the high frequency. I hope this video was helpful. Please, if this video was helpful, please, I will beg you to subscribe to the channel so that I'll be able to make another video for you next time. See you in my next video.